welcome back. Predestination. Predestination. What do Lutherans confess concerning predestination? This is huge. Luther had a big debate on it with Erasmus in 1525. The Lutherans wrote in the Formula of Concord. Why am I talking like William Shatner all of a sudden? The Lutherans wrote in the Formula of Concord. No, the Lutherans wrote in the Formula of Concord about it to oppose the crypto calvinists who snuck their doctrine in of double predestination. Predestination means you are predetermined in Christ for the destination of heaven and the new heavens and the new earth. So it's not like before time that we know of time. Before all that, God was sitting there, you know, God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I'm a, oh, no, right hand, so Son and Holy Spirit. Oh, heretical moment there. And he's going, hey, a Son, hey, a Holy Spirit. Who, who should we send to hell and who should we let to heaven? Hey, God, Dad, you didn't create hell yet. Ah, you're right. I didn't create the angels yet. Ah, well, you know, i am got to make sure i got a place for them. That's not what happened here. Predestination is not a doctrine to, to scare you. Am I saved or am I not? Luther makes a point in his preface to the book of Romans. Great writing. I recommend all of you read it. Preface to the book of Romans. It's in his Luther's Works, Word and Sacrament, Volume 1. And in this, Luther gets to chapter 8, and he says you can't start there. You don't start with predestination. You start at chapter 1, and you go all the way through. So you cover original sin. You cover the atonement. You cover justification. You cover the Christian life, and then you get to predestination. It's not, it's not a light thing. This isn't, uh, this isn't skim milk here. We're talking about deep, I'm talking about like the raw milk, you know, that stuff where it's like, oh, well, that's milk. That's what you're getting here. You're getting the hardiness of it. That's predestination. So the point of predestination is to assure you that your salvation is out of your hands. It's predetermined in Christ. On the cross, it is finished. Your salvation assured. It is absolute. You are predestined for the eternal realm because of what Christ did for you on Calvary's cursed tree. You are Christ and he is yours. That's how we view predestination. Now, are there a lot of other things we can talk about with this? Yes, Walther had the predestination controversy. There's tons of division on this. But the main point you have to remember is this. Predestination is a doctrine of comfort, not one to terrify. We don't preach it to send people to hell. We preach it and believe it because we know it's the assurance of those who are going to heaven. So God bless you all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.